today we are going to make rocks inside of your jar. And I asked you earlier, what do you think is going to happen to your earth materials when we add water? Mary, what did you say? I think that when we put the water inside the jar, um, the elements of that we put in the jar are mixed. They're going to mix. If you agree with her, if you think the same thing, raise your hand. You think they're going to mix? Good. Do you think that maybe the rocks will sink to the bottom? Go to the bottom? No. No? Carmen, what do you think will happen? Uh, I think mm, it doesn't float. The rocks aren't going to float, so yes. they will sink. Yes. Okay, the rocks will sink. The rocks will sink. Okay, look at on your page on number two. Number two says above the rock layers, you're going to add water. I am showing you how much water you need to add. You need to add just a little water. Rebecca, can we use yours? Put your lid, please. Okay. So, Rebecca, hold this up. And we're going to add water just enough to cover the rocks, but not too much, okay? Just enough. So, Roberto, you tell me when to stop. Stop. A little more. More? Okay, now put the lid on. Screw the lid on tight, Roberto. Okay, what time is it? Look at your watches if you have them. Yeah. Yeah. 1242. 1242. Okay, time. 1242. Write that on your observation chart. 1242. Okay. Roberto is going to look at his jar. And what do you see happening, Roberto? Is the water floating or is it sinking down to the bottom? It's sinking down. Oh, do you see the air bubbles popping up? Look at this table. Look. Do you see the air bubbles coming up? Okay. You are going to look at your jar, write your observations, and then in five minutes, we're going to shake the jars and we're going to watch them and see what happens. Okay, so add water to your earth elements. Go ahead and add water if you have some. If you need some, I can give you some. Who needs water? You need water? Okay, so remember the water cycle. We have the... and then the little tiny earth materials, particles floating. So right here for your observations, write that down and you can draw a picture of this. Sand, mud, water. You can draw a little diagram of it. So when you leave those there over time, you'll see it start to separate into layers. Okay, here's two, Ruben. There's your pieces of 
of wood right here. Ryan, what do you see? You want to write down what you see? Good. Okay. And yours is really separated. It hasn't gotten down here yet. Okay, so Natalia, write down what you're seeing here. Is this sand or is this uh, dirt? This is sand, so this is the sand, and then the water's on top, so we can drop it.